Hi, today we are we gonna go over uh, modular arithmetic. Okay, uh, I have one sample modular system here. Okay, so there's just seven modular system counted this way. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight is over here. Okay, this one has the same color, same column numbers. There are actually there are seven same column. Okay, so at this times in column one, all of these numbers one, eight, fifteen, twenty two, twenty nine, thirty six, thirty, forty three, fifty, they are all congruent. We said if we choose two numbers in case number twenty two is congruent. Number 15. I chose okay. Number 15 and 22. This is what in mod 7. It is okay. How can you check this one? You can try 22 minus 15. That is 7. That is a multiple of 7, right? That means what? Number 22 and 15 belongs to same color. Okay, now another choose two numbers, 33 and 12, okay? 33 congruent 12 in mod 7, okay? In the seven system. When you take up the difference, 33 minus 12 is 21. 21 is a multiple of 7, it is okay? So number 12 and 33, they belong to the same column. What's the meaning? What is the meaning? If we choose over here, 22 and 1, okay? So at 22 and 1, that is a mod 7. What that means? 22 and 1, they belong to the same color, but when we have choose 1 less than 7, okay? When we choose number 1 less than 7, actually this number 1 is remainder. So what that means, when 22 divided by 7, 3, 21, remainder 1, that's the meaning, okay? So, from here we can say all these numbers, all these numbers in the column 1, okay? All these numbers in column 1, finally, they all have a remainder 1, okay? They all have a remainder 1, that's the meaning. Is okay? All column two numbers. Okay, when you reduce, they all have a remainder two numbers. All right? And that is a modular system. Okay? So, for example, so uh, when you choose, uh, I'm going to choose 31 and 10. Okay? 31 congruent 10 mod 7. Okay? So the question is, we're going to find the remainder when 31 is divided by 7. But this is 10, okay? So we're going to find the same column is 3 over here, isn't it? Which is less than 7, right? That is what? Minus 7. You can choose minus 7, okay? In the same column, 31 still 3 mod 7. Is it okay? But this number is less than 7, now we can say 3 is the remainder. Okay, so when you have the number, two numbers in the same column, okay, for example, you this one, you can change this number any times. Because of every time you can add 7 or subtract 7, isn't it? You can change this one any times. And also you can change this number any time, it's okay too. Right? Okay. I'm going to change this number. So this number is what 31 plus 7 is what is the 38, right? Take a look over here. Where is 31? 31, 38, the same column, right? Yes, same column. Also what? 10 mod 7, right? So can you see that? 38, 10, they are at the same column. Okay? Okay, you can change another multiple of 2. Maybe you can use like 15. That is what it is. 52 is 10 and mod 7. They are congruent, right? P 
52 over here and uh, 10 over here. Yep, they are in the same column. That's the meaning. Okay? And also uh, from here, you can change what second number to 31. You can add 7. It's okay. Or minus 7 is better because uh, our goal is to find the remainder, right? Remainder is what the number should be uh, less than 7, right? So we have to take up 7 from 10. That is a 3 mod 7, isn't it? So this is the remainder. What that means? That means what? When 31 divided by 7, remainder is 3. That's the meaning. Okay? So there's just some arithmetic uh, operation. Okay, so we're going to learn how they work. Okay? The first one. Zero one we did already, okay? A and R congruent in the same column in the modular B systems, okay? But R is what? Less than B, isn't it? But greater than or equal to zero, right? It is a positive. Now we can say R is remainder, right? We can say R is remainder. Okay? It's okay. The next one. A and B is congruent. This is a kind of a formula, okay? You better memorize, okay? You can two numbers congruent in mod one. Some LCM over here, okay? Okay, I'm gonna use some different system over here, okay? LCM, I'm gonna use this one. 30 is what is there? LCM of 3, 5, and 6. It's okay? List the common multiples of 5, 3, and 5, and 6 is 30, isn't it? Okay, maybe I can use this one. If this is true, 35, 65 is what? In mod 30, okay? Modular 3 is what? They have the same column. It is okay? So over here, 1, 2, 3, 4, number 30, right? So 31, 2, where is it? Uh, 60. It is okay? So 61 to 90, something like that, okay? And this is a modular 30 system, all right? 35 is over here. 65 over here, right? It's the same column, is it? How do you check? How do you know that? 65 minus 35 is 30 is multiple of 30, right? You know that. 65 minus 30 equals 35. I'm sorry, 60 minus 35, okay? 35 equals 30. 30 is a multiple of 30, right? <clears throat> so they belong to the same column. Is it okay? All right. So you can choose this one, okay? So this is a four, right? It's the same column, okay? Four. One, two, three, four, right? 31, 32, 33, 34, 35. Okay? All right. So, yeah. 30 is what you can broke into these three numbers, okay? 3, 5, 6. Now you can say 35 is what? 35 and, uh, okay, I'm going to delete this one, okay? Okay, 65, okay? So you can choose only mod 3, okay? So 35 and 65 st still in the same column in mod 3, okay? So what is that? Mod 3 is a 3 system, isn't it? One, two, three, four, five, and six. Okay? So where is the 35? Where is 35? This is the 30. Maybe you can continue. This is 33, right? The next one is 34 and 35 over here, isn't it? 35. Okay, where is the 65? Continue. This is 63, 63, 64, 65 over here, right? Still, these two numbers is the same column. Okay, that's the meaning. It's okay. All right. So, always the same this. Same number. Factor 5 is over here. Okay. Another 6 over here. It is okay. Okay. So, the next one. Another operation over here. Uh, the next one over here, A and B are congruent in 
modulo m, okay? So we can make y exponent still equal, all right? Okay, I'm going to use y sum two numbers in modulo 7 system, okay? I'm going to delete this one. Okay, so I'm going to choose a, a, a little small number, okay? 8 and 1, okay? 8 and 1, they are congruent in mod 7. It's okay, I'm going to make parentheses, okay? I thought you need a parenthesis, okay? They're looking better. So when you make right, some x, uh, power k, x more k, okay? A to the what? 2, 1 to the 2, okay? You can use this one. What happened? 64 and 1 still in the same column. Is it okay? We are just 64 over here. We are just 64. Okay, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64 over here, isn't it? 1 and 64 in the same column. This is okay, right? So this number is less than 7. Now we can say 164 divided by 7, the remainder is 1. Is it okay? When 64 divided by 7, remainder is 1. That's the meaning. It is okay? You can make a cube, okay? Or you can make a force power. It doesn't matter. That is always working. Okay, so you have to memorize this one. Uh, the next one is what general uh, modular arithmetic. Okay, I'm going to delete this side. So I'm going to use a different system over here. Okay, all right. Oh, this is also what uh, modular seven is okay. Yeah, the same system. Okay, modular seven. So when you have two numbers, you can choose right two numbers in the same column. Okay. I'm going to use a minus 7, it's okay. When you choose two columns. Another one. Another two columns. Okay, C and D. But it, it can be different column. It doesn't matter, okay? Anyway, any number is okay in the same col column, okay? So when you choose this one, you can use what? Plus, it's okay. Minus, it's okay. And the multiplication, only three, always working. So I'm going to choose two numbers in the column one, okay? Column A is, I'm going to use two numbers, eight and 15, okay? So 15 and eight mod seven, right? They are same column, okay? For example, this one. The next one. Uh, C and D, another two numbers I belong, I'm going to use this one. 15 and uh, four B, okay? I'm, I'm sorry, 18 and 4, okay? So, 18 and 4, they are congruent, okay? They are congruent. Now, let's add these two numbers, okay? When you add these two numbers, okay, plus addition first. I'm going to use this one. Addition. 15, addition. Always working, okay? 15 plus 18 is okay. So that is a 33, right? 8 plus 4, that is a 12, isn't it? Okay. So 18 plus 30, uh, uh, this is 33 and 12 mod 7. But this is already equal, right? Because what 33 and 12 is what? In the same column. Now let's check it. 30 and 33 and 12, where is it? 33 and 12, right? In the column 5, the remainder is 5. It's okay? They always make remainder is 5. So to make less than 7, you minus 7, okay? You can take up anyway the modular number anytime. You can add or subtract. That's the rule, right? So when you take up over here, 33 and uh, 12 minus 7 is 5, right? Okay? Yeah. 12 minus 12 is 5, mod 7. And also 33 and 5 is in the same column. Can you see that? 33, 33, and 5 in the same column. Okay? So when you have less than 5, 
okay, less than seven numbers, this number. So what that means, now you can say when 33 divided by seven, remainder is five. Our concern is what? The remainder, okay? That is always working, okay? So when you have a big number, very large number, you can break right uh, some two numbers, okay? So using applied modular arithmetic, you can find the, right, the remainder. Okay, that is the easier way, okay? So you can use subtract too, okay? I'm gonna use a subtraction. So 18 minus 15, okay? Bottom to the top, okay? 18 minus 15 is a three, isn't it? Okay, so four minus eight is how much? Four minus eight is one, negative four, right? Mod seven, it's okay, but this is not remainder, right? Okay, so you can add seven here to make a part to small numbers. What is that? Three, okay? Yeah, three is what? Three mod seven. This is working too, isn't it? Because when divided by three, when divided by seven, remainder is three. Is it okay? Yep. So addition and subtraction, okay? Addition and subtraction. They are always working. Okay. Uh, second one is, uh, the third one is a multiplication. Now take a look at multiplication. 8 times 15. Okay, how much is that? 15 times 18. That is a 120, 15, 270. Okay, so. 270 and 8 times 4 is what? 32 mod 7. These two numbers also in the same column. That's right? Okay, how can you check it? Find the difference. 270 minus 32. That is how much? 238. Right? So 238 is one multiple of seven, isn't it? Okay, 238, you can divide by seven, okay? So 238 is divisible by seven, so that is uh, okay, right? So these two columns is what? Belongs in the same column, okay? That's fine. So can you, uh, if they ask you this way, this way, when 270 divided by 7, what is the remainder? Okay, so this number is divisible by, uh, divided by 7, what is the remainder? Or uh, this number is greater than 7. It can be remainder, but these two numbers belong to the same column, that's it. But 32 is not remainder, because this 32 is greater than 7, right? So you can reduce this number less than 7, isn't it? Maybe what is the close, what is the uh, the largest number, which is uh, multiple of seven? 28. Okay, so you can take a 28. It's okay. So 32 minus 28 is what? Four. This one is what? 270 is exactly equals what? Four mod seven, isn't it? 274 is the same column, we know that, right? So this number is what? Less than seven. We Now we can say four is the remainder when divided by seven. Okay, that's it. Okay, so remember, addition, any two numbers in the same color, okay? So addition, subtraction, multiplication, always working, okay? All right, the next one is, a division is why I forget about this, okay? So I, it's not that much important, okay? The last one is over here. Okay, when you have, right, uh, A and B column, okay, mod seven, same column, okay? Mod M, same. You can multiply any numbers, okay? You can multiply any numbers, and also you can add any numbers, always working, okay? So for example, I'm gonna uh, choose, okay, same numbers over here. 15 and 22, okay? 15 and 22. So 22, 15, they have same column, okay? They are in the same column. You can add this one, four plus four, okay? Four plus four, what is that? 26 
and 19 still in the same column, right? Can you see that 26, 19, where is it? 26, 19, still same column, isn't it? That is always working, right? This is true. This is true too. It's okay? All right. So you can subtract, it doesn't matter, same thing, okay? I'm gonna use this one. 22 and 15, I'm gonna use this number again, okay? 22 congruent 15 in mod seven. So I'm gonna take a minus uh, five, minus five, okay? So that is what, 17, 10, mod seven. What that means? This 17 and 10 in the same column, okay? 17 and 10, where is it? 17 and 10 over here, it's the same color. Is it okay? Yeah, that arithmetic always working, okay? All right, the next one over here, the CRM7. This is a very special case, okay? This is a very special case. When you have two numbers in the mod six, these two numbers congruent, okay? N and R, in mod system, mod six system, these numbers stay in the same column. Okay? That means in the same column. When you make a cube over here, okay? But you should be exponent cube, this is also cube, right? Okay? Mod six. By actually, mod six system, this R cube is always equals to R, okay? Very simplified R. Okay, so actually R cube, we don't need that, okay? For example, I'm gonna choose my seven system will be uh, uh, number six system, okay? That is a six, I'm gonna try this one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, a little one more, 13, 14, and 15, 16, 17 and 18, that's enough. Okay? I'm gonna choose uh, seven and one in the same color, okay? So seven congruent one mod six is that. Is it okay? So when you make a cube, actually, it should be one cube, okay? One cube is still one, okay? So this is not quite, I'm gonna choose another one. I'm gonna choose, uh, uh, 10 and 4, okay? So a 10, 4, mod 6, right? Yeah, they are in the same column. I make right cube over here, okay? Only cube, okay? Only cube. When you make a cube, this is a cube, by definition, it should be equals to 4 mod 7, isn't it? Right there is your right, our definition, right? So prove this one. 4 to the cube is how much? It's 64, right? 64 mod 6, okay? So when you take a right out the multiple of 6, very close to this number, 64 is 60, isn't it? So you can take up 60, it's okay? So it's equal to 4, right? Same numbers. It's okay? So we can subtract multiple of 6 numbers, okay? So 10 cube is always about 4 mod 6, okay? All right, so another, uh, over here, uh, that is uh, sometimes we use this one, okay? 10 to the K, I'm gonna, I'm gonna use this space. 10 to the K and 10 to the A also congruent to what? A, okay, I'm sorry. You know that, right? Uh, 10 to the K is over here, A is over here, that is congruent to what? A mod nine, that is a mod nine systems. It's okay, but nice is this. A uh, because what? What is 10? 10 is, what is that? One mod nine. It's okay, right? 10 and one is what? In the same column, okay? I'm gonna, I use the very small number, okay? To make it easy. So when you, that means what? 10 divided by nine, remainder is one, okay? So multiplication over here. K to the K, what is that? 10 to the K is still one, one to the K is still one, right? So one mod nine numbers, okay? All right, 
So if we have this one, a and a mod 9, okay? It's the same number, right? Okay. But when you multiply 10 to the k both sides, this is a 10 to the k, this one is a 1, isn't it? That is a 1 mod 9. You can multiply both, okay? When you multiply over here, 10 to the k times a congruent to what? A, same as before, right? Mod 9. It's okay? All right. Yeah, that is all uh, go over uh, for the arithmetic, uh, modular arithmetic, okay? So uh, now we're going to start, okay, some uh, practice questions, okay? Okay, now let's do, okay, uh, this one, I'm going to delete this one, okay? okay? If a number n, uh, the, the person try number one, okay? A number n divide each 47 and 25, isn't it? Okay? This number is divisor, right? Divisor is a modular system. This is a modular system, okay? So the remain they have the same remainder, okay? Remainder is what less than some n, okay? Remainder means this all remainder is what less than n, right? That's the meaning, okay? All right. So set up the equations. Forty-seven, okay? This is divisible divided by, okay? And the remainder is r, okay? So r mod n okay can you set up this way okay 47 congruent r mod n okay another one 25 also what when you divide by mod, mod uh, n the remainder is r same remainder okay all right we know that this number r is less than n okay so what is the largest we're gonna find largest value of n how can you find the largest value of n we can use why uh, subtraction isn't it we can use a subtraction why okay take a look when you make a subtraction okay when you make a subtraction 47 minus 25 is how much? 22, right? So R minus R is 0, isn't it? 0, same system, right? Same si in the same system, you can use right, addition, subtraction, and multiplication, okay? By these times, we have to use subtraction, okay, to make a 0. So 0, mod, and, isn't it? What that means? When 22 divided by n, the remainder is 0. There are many numbers over here, right? Okay? To make the remainder is 0, right? 1 doesn't work, okay? It can be 1. So, when you divide by 2, 22 divided by 2, the remainder is what? 0. Okay? The next one is what? When you divide by 11, the remainder is 0, right? The factor over 12 is what? The value of actually. The factors except the one, okay? Factors over 21, 22 is the value of n, okay? So it can be two or 11 or by itself, 22, right? Okay, so you can see 22 divided by two remainder is zero, okay? That's the meaning. Okay, so 22 divided by 11 remainder zero. 22 divided by 22 is uh, remainder zero, okay? So largest value of n is what? 22 is the answer. Okay, all right. Now let's go number two. A number n, okay, a number uh, n divide 37. 37 is what? The numbers, okay? This one is what? Modular system, okay? So 37 and remainder is R mod and that's the meaning, okay? All right, so same number and divide 54, okay? When you divide by 54, remainder is 2R, isn't it? Mod N, okay? Same numbers. That's the meaning, okay? So what is the largest value of N again? Largest value of N again, we have to find the what? The remainder is zero, isn't that the easier way, okay? 
Okay, now let's make remainder zero. How can you make remainder zero? Over here times two, right? So that is what? The 37 times two is what? 74 is 2R mod and, isn't it? Okay, second one just there, 54 congruent 2R mod and the same modular systems. Now you can subtract, okay? Subtract is working. So 74 minus 254 is how much? 20 and 0 mod and it is okay. I'm gonna print this, okay? Looking better. Okay. So what is the value of n? n should be factor of 20, didn't it? Except one, okay? So you can do it what? Divided by n can be, you can use divided by 2 or 20 or 4 and 5. Okay, two and okay, okay two and ten, okay, and the four and five. Okay, so actually, how, how many factors there? One, two, three, four, five. Okay, that's the all possible value of n, right? Okay, because the twenty and zero is the same column. Okay, this is divisor. Okay, yeah, that is divisor. So. This is your modular two system, it's okay, right? So 20 divided by two, remainder zero, 20 divided by four, remainder zero, okay? So over here, largest value of n still, 20 is the answer, okay? 20 is the answer. All right, now, uh, next questions. Take a look, next questions. A certain number is divided by uh, three, four, six, seven, the remainder is two. Okay, we have right four, modular system okay certain number of this one but remainder is what each case is two right so the first one divided by system three two mod three also what is that two mod four also same remainder and uh, another two mod six same remainder and two mod seven isn't it okay over here, the system, modular system, is they are all different, okay? Modular system, they are all different. Maybe you can use, okay, uh, some uh, subtraction, okay? You can minus two, minus two, isn't it? Minus two, minus two, okay? So you can say N minus two congruent by zero mod three, also zero of minus two, minus two, right? Zero, isn't it? It's the same N minus two, okay? So zero mod four and zero mod six and zero mod seven, isn't it? Same value of n, right? So what that means? This number m minus two, m minus two when divided by three, remainder zero means that this one number is what multiple of three and multiple of four and multiple of six and also multiple of seven. That's the number. So actually, we have to find what is that. Mo least common multiple of this number, okay? So three, four, six, seven. You can use the letter, okay? So three is out, one, two, seven, right? Divided by two again, two, two, one, seven. This is a six, this is a 14, 84, isn't it? What that means, M minus two should be this number should be multiple of 84, right? It can be 168 or 252, okay? But we start by 84, isn't it? So we're gonna find least number, okay? So this number should be what? M minus two be equal 84, isn't it? M minus two should be equals 84, okay? So N equals how much? 86. Yet the least number of n is 86 is correct. Okay, 86 is correct. And also you can use why LCM, isn't it? Because they produce same remainder. Okay, by definition. So this number n congruent divided by two, still same remainder. Modular is what is that? Least the common multiple of LCM over this one still 84, right? So 84. That's the meaning. Okay, that's the meaning. So accurate, n minus two, okay, n, oh, you don't have to minus two, okay, anyway, this number, 
when divided by 84, remainder is 2, because 2 is less than 84. That's the remainder, okay? So what is the smallest number? If quotient 1, right? Okay, so 84 times 1 plus 2. So n equals how much? 86. Is it? Okay, that's the answer. All right, now I'll try number 4. Okay, the number is divided by uh, 2, 3, 4, and 5. The res respective remainder is 1, 2, 3, and 4, okay? So when you, a certain number, okay? When you divide by uh, this number, there is a modulus number, okay? 2, 3, 4, 5, so what is that? Mod 2, mod 3, mod 4, and mod 5. When you divide up these four numbers, the remainder is what? 1, 2, 3, 4, okay? The same numbers. So how can you find the least number of this one? Least number over here. Okay. So we have different modulus, right? 2, 3, 4, 5, okay? But remainder is 1, 2, 3, 4. When you have a different modulus, so always we try to make what same remainder. Okay? It can be 0 or, or 1 or 1 or 2. It doesn't matter, okay? But this is very important, right? So how can you make equal remainder? How? Always well, 1 and 2 the difference is 1, right? 2 and 3 difference is 1, 3 and 4 difference is 1, 4 and 5 difference is 1. So when you add 1 both sides, n plus 1 over here, you can add 1. Same add 1 number. Right? But the number looks like different. Anyway, I'm going to write down one more time. n plus 1 congruent 2 mod 2. Second one is a 3 mod 3. Third one is about 4 mod 4. Last one is about 5 mod 5. Looks like a different remainder. But that is not different remainder. It's the same remainder. When divided by 2, you can make it minus 2, minus 3, minus 4, minus 5. Isn't it? Same modular number. You can add or subtract any times. It is okay. So actually this one is actually equals what is that? Zero mod three, okay? I'm sorry, zero mod two, okay? Two minus two is zero. It's okay. Alright. Three mod three is what? Actually zero mod three, okay? Three divided by three one more time. Okay? So in this modular four, four is what? When divided by four remainder is zero, right? They are all remainder zero, looks like this one. Okay, so actually what is that? Same remainder, right? Zero. Okay, we need some scares. All right, so M plus one is, what is it? Actually, remainder zero means what? You can say M plus one is multiple of two, three, four, and five, isn't it? That's the meaning, right? Okay, so what is List the common multiple 2, 3, 4, 5. Check it out. 2, 3, 4, 5. The letter is better, right? So 2, 2, 5, 3. Okay, no more. That is a 10. This is a 6. 60. Okay? Actually, m plus 1 is a multiple of 60. It can be about 60, or 120, or 180, a lot. Okay? So we have what is the list number? 60 is the list number, right? It's okay. 60 is the list number. So m plus 1 is 60 is the list number. But we need to find the variable. Large n, okay? So n is how much? 59, isn't it? So 59 is the answer. Is it okay? All right, another question, number five. 
uh, notation on uh, AB congruent mod N, okay? Okay, so A minus B is multiple but that is the definition, okay? A minus multiple, this one, A and B is what? Belongs to the same column, okay? They are congruent. Okay, find the sum of all possible value of N such that both following are true. So we have this one, 171, 80, mod n okay and 468 13 mod n we're gonna find all possible value of n okay all possible value of n what are these numbers okay what are these numbers okay maybe this number means what when 171 divided by n remainder is 80 that is not remainder, right? Maybe we cannot say n is greater than 80. We don't know. Maybe sometimes n is less than 80, right? Some using, okay, arithmetic, we have to find, okay, a little more, more detailed value of n, right? Okay, I'm going to check this one. This is 30, okay? The easiest way, I think, the easiest way, you can subtract because they are the same column, it's okay, same column, right? Yeah, so you can subtract minus 80, minus 80, is it? That is easier way. You can take off same numbers, okay? Okay, now check it out. 171 minus 80 is how much? 91, right? 80 minus 80 is 0, mod 7. That's it. Uh, 0 mod n, okay? That means what? When 91 divided by uh, n, the remainder is 0. So n is what? Multi factor of 91, right? So I'm going to this. Another one. Minus 13, minus 13, okay? This is how much? 455, okay? 455 is 0 mod n, isn't it? I'm going to write down. 455. 0 mod n. So what that means over here? 91 is multiple of n. Okay? 455 also multiple of n. Okay? So we're going to find what? All possible value of n. Okay? But this time, n should be what is that? Factor of 19, right? The largest number 19. So we can say, uh, Okay, well, so 3, uh, 7, right? 7 times the factor of 91 is what? 7, 13, 91, isn't it? Is it okay? 7, 13, 91. From here, they must a lot, right? Because what, 91 times 5, isn't it? So maybe a 5, 7, 13, 91, okay? But Another one, 5 is what? 100, 455, okay? All right. But this is not working. If this is what? N is 455, okay? So 91, right? When divided by uh, 455, uh, divided by 455. It's okay? It's impossible, right? Okay. This number you can divide divide by uh, 455, okay? But this one cannot be 455. Is it okay? All right. So 91 is always what? Great this number, okay? So we have only three numbers, isn't it? By itself, too, okay? So n can be 7 or 13 or 51, or uh, 91, right? So this number 91 is divided by 7, divided by 13, divided by 91, and also 455 is divided by 7, divided by 13, divided by 91, okay? This is what? The numbers, okay? The possible number. So the value of sum of this number is the S is, what is that? 7 plus 13 plus 91, okay? That is 20, 111 is the answer, okay? 111 is the answer. Okay, now uh, number six. Okay, now number six. So just one more, uh, two more questions, okay? Now number six. 
n is divided by 2016 okay so that means what and 0 mod 2016 right that's the meaning it is okay okay yeah the next one I don't know. The remainder is 42, okay? I'm sorry. That is uh, when divided by 2016, that is 42, okay? Uh, remainder is given. Not zero, okay? 22. That's it. What is the remainder when n is divided by 24? When n is divided by 24, I'm going to use modulo 24, okay? Mod 24, isn't it? 24. What's the remainder? But this remainder, we know that less than 24, we're going to reduce the numbers, okay? But we have a different modular system, 2016 and 24, isn't it? But we know that 2016 is what? Multiple of 24, right? So 2016 divided by 24. Over here, it is 192, okay? Uh, 96. 96 is 0, right? So actually, this one is kind of what is that? Uh, okay, 24 times 28, isn't it? Module this one, okay? So that means by definition is what? You can separate, okay? You can separate still. When you have 24 is what is the factor of 2016, same remainder, okay? The number should be what? 42 mod 24, isn't it? It's the same thing, okay? A 42 is not remainder, okay? This number and the other number is the same column, that's the meaning. So to find the remainder, we need by the number less than 24, okay? You can take up 24 over here, okay? How much is this one? 18 mod 24, isn't it? Okay, all right. So this number when divided by 24, remainder is 18 okay that is number six okay just one more question is number seven okay when a positive integer m is divided by seven okay when divisible divided by seven modulo seven remainder is two means what is that m remainder two when divided by seven okay we set up the equation Another number n. When divided by 7, remainder is 6. A same modular system. Okay? Alright. What is the remainder m times m? Okay, m times multiplication. Okay, you can multiply. Okay, so what is that? 2 times 6 is what? 12, isn't it? 12 mod 7 is okay. But this number is greater than 7. That means. 12 is not remainder, okay? Remainder must, must be right, less than 7, okay? So we can take up 7, same modular system. Already you can subtract. How much? 5 mod 7, okay? This 5 is actually less than 7, so 5 is a remainder. That's the answer, okay? Okay, the other practice will continue next time, okay? Uh, we're going to handle a little more on our AMC questions, okay, using uh, modular system, okay? Today's, uh, I think that's all today, okay? So I will see you in second uh, video, okay? Okay, thank you, everybody, okay? You, you guys have a good weekend, okay? Thank you.